on Super Nintendo, they didn't have good arcade sticks. They had them on P on PS One, but you had to get them built. And when I was younger, I didn't have that kind of money or whatever, and I couldn't convince my parents why I needed that. So I used to have to play on pad at home and play on arcade stick and arcade. But back then, I, I still say I would just, I was better on the arcade than I was at home. I think when the when the PlayStation 2 came out and they came out with the the anniversary stick Shit. That's when I had my first real arcade stick that uh, Street Fighter anniversary stick with the American parts Yeah, arcades here are, are actually are really, really rare. They still are rare. Um, Ultra just opened in February of this year. And like there, there is arcades around, but they don't have like up to date fighting games. I remember when um, Street Fighter 4 had just released in the arcade and it was only in the whole entire United States I think it was only like four or five places in the United States that had, had Street Fighter 4 and my sister she was uh, she used to live in Dallas Texas and I was living in Georgia and that was that's like a, almost a thousand miles away and I used to go out when I went and visit her for Christmas I used to drive from Dallas all the way to Austin and that was like three three hours and I still drive all the way there just to play Street Fighter 4. I know there, there was an arcade in New York, an arcade in um, Austin, Texas, and an arcade in California. But I don't know where the other ones were. Yeah, I used to love, I love fighting games, but it wasn't until I moved here that I started like learning what fighting games really were about, like how to really play them. Cause before I just, I loved them, but I didn't really have good people to play against. There was no online, the arcades were closing down. So there, I couldn't, I never met like good people at the game. Like I was always the best out of all the people I met. So I sucked.
I don't I didn't go in this door last time. I don't remember what's in there. this girl Leon Leon It's good to see you're still among the living It looks like we're not going to find your brother here after all I remember last night when we was playing this as as Leon. There's no reason for us and to he didn't give her the uh, diary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. I guess he took their first aid spray. Yay, six viewers. <laughs> you should have been last night. Last night I had like 38 viewers. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. Right. take everything. Get to the 
crate first. Cause I don't have any room for any items right now. I think Nemesis is gonna come in here. Serpentine stone. to the evil within not really 
we'll see. I was just telling um, everybody last night that what I saw, like, gameplay-wise, I wasn't impressed with. So I'm going to wait for them to work on the game some more. Initially, I was excited about it because I thought it was going to be like Resident Evil. It just looks weird to me now. these zombies come from. one zombie being in this room. two diamonds in the thing, okay. Oh shit. Thank <laughs> you. 
I've never tried to walk around the liquors before. I didn't get the the thing out of here. Oh yes, I did. That was the stone. Okay. is Leon there was a, a room I didn't go into a room in the police station that I, I didn't go into Yeah. 
go free up some space for us. That's that room up there with the two statues, right? I know there's a, a key to the locker and that's how you get the all the outfits and I know how to get that one but I didn't feel like trying to get to the police station without picking up any items well I tried it I tried it yesterday and I kept dying once I got to the uh, police station I think there if you do I think if you beat the game in a certain amount of time or some mess they give you a special key to get in that room I don't know I gotta look it up
Nah, I'm definitely not gonna beat it in in a fast time. Nemesis again, I bet. Maybe that's something I could work for in the in the future. Cuz I've never I've never been able to beat any Resident Evil within a certain amount of time to get anything special. And I think it's because I just play it one time and then don't play it again or because I'm not I've never like really focused on trying to do it fast. Get out of here. 
And I know to get a good rank, you have to uh, not use any uh, first aid sprays. Beat the game in a certain amount of time and not save as much. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I thought you were another one of those zombies. Are you Chief Irons? Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her. But I failed, miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin nothing short of perfection. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain, or by decapitating her completely. And to think that taxidermy used to be my hobby. But no longer. Please. I'd really like to be alone now. Give me some items. Wait, let me go! Easy, easy there! I'm not a zombie! You're safe now. So she had to have went through the chief of police's office to My get in this Claire. room. What's yours? So why Sherry, didn't she just stay in there with him? Do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant, near the city limits. The chemical plant? Then... What are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. From the look of things, I'd say she was probably right. But it's dangerous here as well. You'd better come with me. But there's something out there. I don't know what it is, but I saw it. Much larger than any of those zombies. And it's coming after me. What was that? That's what I was telling you about! It's here! Sherry, wait! <laughs> yes, because people put a box of bullets in a treasure chest. Okay. Another game I like to play is Metal Gear Solid. Chief?
Got those bolts shoot three at a time.
Did you go to San Japan, John? everywhere for you. I was so worried. We've got to go now, honey, okay? If we stay here, that monster will find us. Let's go. No! I won't! What's the matter? <laughs> Don't, Don't you, you trust, trust me? me? It's not that, Claire. It's because of my daddy. He's over there. I heard him call my name. He must have been attacked by the monsters. I have to help him. Wait, Sherry, don't go alone. Sherry, Sherry. Black Op Sherry. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> 
I don't want to die with this little girl. Reset your positions. Gosh, she's so slow. Both her and Ada got a freaking picture in their inventory that you can't even look at. Sherry, are you okay? Did you find your dad? Yes, I'm okay. But I couldn't find him. But I did find something else for you. Here! Here's another. Thanks, sweetie. Now why don't you come over here? I want you to stay with me. hole anymore. But don't worry, I'll find another way. I can take care of myself. Wait, Sherry, come back. Sherry! Sherry! Do you read me, Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way.
Open the door! Damn it. Thank <laughs> you. 